What's going on YouTube? It's your boy living in London back again. You know the deal already. If you haven't, it means the world to your boy. If you subscribe, comment, like, and share. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell in the top right hand corner. So when I release a video, you get a notification and I get a view. Sharing's Kevin, it helps my channel grow. Also, follow me on Instagram. It's living underscore in underscore L D N. It's all okay, so give your boy a give your boy a follow because we're nearly at five thousand. Oi, come on. <sighs> Just when I thought I was out, they keep dragging me back in, motherfuckers. Huh? What is going on? Jordan McCann's got more beef. This guy is the only guy I know that has beef with people you don't know behind jail. Huh? That's what happens when you're the guy, when you're top, when you're the, uh, number one, people gonna keep coming at you. Now, when I come at in people, it was under false information and I took down the videos and I apologized. Cause I never wanna go at people and just with misinformation and all the other stuff. So when I found out I did, I cringed and I took it down and I corrected my mistake. Cool. And that's it, it's been quiet since that whole time no one's been mentioning jordan's name and that he's been cracking on with his prison sentence that one rumor which turned out to be false which i don't think jordan made himself like he's like writing to fucking people like like a sam walker like writing to people like the manchester gazette was like hey man I just done someone you know i don't think he done that people yeah i think it was just people just using his name to get views and clicks and all the other stuff but the other day someone sent me um a video of dougie joyce if you don't know the joyce is a big family big irish family traveling family they're in, uh, they're all over England and, and even in Ireland, you know? They're serious, serious family. They're one of the top um, traveling families. They're always having beef with each other and other people and that. I, I watch them all the time and that. it's kind of funny, yeah? On like the traveler things and that when they're beefing. So he just come out on his new YouTube channel and he's like uh, exposing Jordan McCann. And I'm like, oh shit, what, what's going on here? So I watched the video and mate, Who's his cousin? Every time this guy, Dean Lynch Ward, yeah, every time he, um, he comes on a video, he's like, my name's Dean Lynch Ward, and I'm Dougie's cousin. And Dougie's always standing there, and he's like, yep, yeah, that's my cousin. Do you know what I'm saying? What happened to King Irish, boys? Fuck, you know. But anyway, so now we've got Dean Lynch Ward. He's going on like, yeah, listen, mate, yeah? You had, you had to get out your brother, like, ages ago, and all the other stuff, and we're cousins, and I'm not happy with what I'm saying. And I'm just, like, confused. I'm like, so your cousins, Dolly Sharp. Your cousins, his brothers. So anyway, it was a whole family thing, yeah? And he's talking about how, because Jordan belittled his brother on camera and Jordan's got some guy who he rolls with um, that handles beef for him on the roads. Um, I don't know, just a whole lot of nothing really. And it was old news. When Jordan had this situation, yeah, with him and his bro, it was just like nearly a year ago, people. So for them to come out now and be like, this is the reason why we're going at Jordan, it seemed like a bit of a reach, do you know? It seemed like it didn't really have too much to be pissed at Jordan back, you know? Almost could be like they're making up an excuse to go at Jordan. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think in the comments. But one thing I do know is if two brothers are arguing, ain't no one can get in the middle of that. Maybe the dad or the mum, but that's about it. Do you know what I'm saying? How is like two, and, and, and an argument's a year old. So like a cousin from like, a year old arguments like, listen, Jordan, even though you're in prison and um, and you most probably we're calling that, I'm not happy with how you spoke to your brother and all that other shit. Listen, Jerry made a mistake and he admitted to it. Yeah, Jordan was pissed because Jordan's getting into negotiations, Jordan trying to get a record deal and other stuff. And if his own family come out and start chatting shit, yeah, then it just doesn't look bad for his um, image and his brand. So I can understand why Jordan was pissed. He may not have handled it in the correct way, but that's between brothers, and brothers handles things between brothers. They've been together their whole lives, do you know what I'm saying? So for someone just to get in the middle of it now and have a say and be like exposing Jordan McCann, I was like, oh, okay then. But Doug, Dougie Joyce got on the camera and he was saying about how he's gonna expose Jordan McCann. Jordan uh, McCann was licking his ass because Dougie Joyce come out and squashed the rumor about, because there was a rumor saying that Dougie had slapped Jordan. And um, even I was like, wow, wow, did that happen? And then uh, Dougie come out and done the right thing. I said, no, it didn't happen, blah, 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 and squashed it. And Jordan McCann thanked him. Do you know what I didn't like, though, people? You know what really pisses me off, yeah? Which is not what you do and how real men act. You don't record convos. You don't record conversations like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Come, drop. So why are you recording conversations? I don't know. Like, for me, that was a bit much. See, like, between men. If, you're, if I'm having a conversation with someone, yeah, and they've recorded the convo and they upload it, they've automatically lost the argument in my eyes. Because that's not, come on, man. And Jordan McCann was not licking no one's ass. He was doing the respectful thing. Dougie helped him out. 
So now he's just paying respect and love back to Dougie. So when I see the um, uh, Dougie release the um, the uh, recording of the Jordan McCann thing, I'm waiting, I'm itching to see something, you know, because I'm thinking, wow, this is going to get sticky. I wasn't going to cover it because I thought, you know what, let me just take a backseat on this one. But I couldn't help it, people. There was nothing in that at all. Jordan McCann did not get exposed one bit. If anything, Dougie, Mc Dougie, Dougie McCann, Dougie Joyce exposed himself. Someone you can't have a personal conversation with. Someone you can't, you know, just reason with behind the scenes. Because you don't, never know if you're going to be recorded or not. And how long did he hold it for? How long was that recording held for before he finally released it? Like, what was his intentions of recording that? He was having a grown conversation behind the scenes. I'm not feeling that, man. And you know what I'm noticing, yeah? There's a few people that the Joyces have aligned themselves with on the YouTube things. And like, the people they're aligning themselves with are donuts, yeah? Proper donuts, yeah? But I think they're trying to manipulate these YouTubers to try and make money off them. You know, because there was this YouTube beef going on. So the Joyce's are almost trying to get in there and position themselves with these little donuts to try and be their manager or something. Because I see Ben Hatchett was taking the Joyce's side with this McCann situation thing, with this um, Jordan McCann. He posted on his Instagram about real recognised real. And he had the video of Dougie and... Um, uh, um, his cousin on um, uh, his Instagram and I'm like wait weren't you sticking up for him last week when I was going at him do you know what I'm saying so I want to see how everyone else reacts to this situation because me I keep it a hundred I, I, I look at the situation I give my honest opinion if people are telling me stuff I may get the wrong information but that will never happen again do you know what I'm saying but I think the Joyce's are giving these guys a bit of like confidence to talk shit because when i text ben that snake i was texting the snake emoji thinking like why are you why are you like going at jordan now all of a sudden just because what your friends with the joyce is like there's not even no substance in what they're saying do you know and i'm never i'm never like if i'm wrong i can never be strong with it you know and if i am and i found out i was i'll always backtrack 100 percent. it doesn't matter if you just say if you're wrong and and, and at least you admit it you know so now like ben hatchet and all this other stuff we're getting on to Jordan McCann. And I'm just like, I'm noticing a pattern here, people. You're going to be getting a few videos on this situation as it unfolds, you know? But at the moment, I'm just giving my my thoughts on the situation. And right now, how I see it is the Joyce's, sad to say, they're clout chasing. That's right, you heard it. Doug, Dougie and his cousin are clout chasing of Jordan McCann's name. In my eyes, what I can see from what they've shown. Because they're talking about an argument that was between brothers. That was all over the internet like they didn't see it come on man everyone see that i see that ages ago do you know what i'm saying so they're using that as an excuse to just jump in on some beef with jordan and the geezer's behind the door as well but anyway yeah and then you show some expose but like i said it didn't expose jordan at all if anything it made jordan look like a real man just showing respect in that and not recording no conversations and it made you boys look terrible because you're recording private conversations, holding them for nearly a year, and then releasing them for no reason when my man's in jail. Now, people, people, I know we're in 2021 and a lot's changed, but is this how things go? Is, is, this, how, is, this, is this what's going on these days? Is this how we're handling situations, recording convos, creating fake controversy, and then trying to beef someone? And then trying to bring it onto the road as well, talking about Jordan McCann's boy, when we see you, we're gonna do you, are getting your teeth smashed out, this, that, the other. Like, come on, man. This is, for me, just a reach to get views, clout and the other stuff. But let me know if I'm right or wrong and what you guys think most importantly in the comments. It's your boy living in London and I will be covering this situation as it unfolds. Peace.